All right, so I'm just doing this quick video because uh, there was someone who asked about uh, an issue with one of their ray lights, and I've run into the issue before, and I just wanted to uh, make this quick video just to show you how to kind of troubleshoot any issues with uh, with most lights, really, but especially with ray lights because they're so easy to modify. So now this one's not playing up or anything like that, so I can't show you the issue uh, that was being spoken about, but what I can say is, the man was saying that sometimes when he clicks the light on, it doesn't come on, but then when he unscrews the head slightly, the light comes back on. Now, I have actually encountered that issue before, and I just want to show you how to troubleshoot it and fix it. So if you just unscrew the head, and then you'll see down here, maybe if I zoom in, okay, so you'll see down here, see there are two holes, and I'll just... Uh, I'll just show you the holes that I'm talking about. So one there and one there. Okay, so this is the pill, right? Uh, I guess it could also be called the engine. So what you wanna do is you wanna remove this and it's very, very easy to remove this. You just get something like this, some you know little needle nose tweezer things and you just put one end each into these little holes and then once they're in, you just unscrew. It comes off very, very easily, especially the new ray lights. They're so easy to, to modify and do this with. So you just unscrew the, uh, the pill or the engine and you pull it out. Okay, so sometimes the engine will come out with the reflector on it like this, but sometimes it won't. Now, for what I'm gonna show you, I think it would probably be easier to take the reflector off and that's very easy. You just literally just lift it off carefully. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there. So the lens is still down there, in there, so we don't want that to fall out if we can help it. Okay, so now we're looking at the emitter, which is here, and we are looking at the, the, the whole engine, right? So on the back here, you have this little ring here, see that? Okay, so that's called the retainer ring, and that needs to be pressed down so that it is flush and touching basically everything it needs to touch. I don't know the ins and the outs of this, all I know is what works to fix it. Now, when we're constantly putting our batteries in and out, unscrewing the head, screwing it back up, all that kind of stuff, dropping the light, using it, whatever, this retainer in here can become loose sometimes. So all you've got to do to make sure that it is tight and everything is kind of connected so the circuit can run smoothly is, Grab something like this, just some really kind of basic level plier type things. And you want to be really careful and you don't want to squeeze too hard because you don't want it to kind of shoot out of your hand, which I have done before. Now, remember guys, I am a total amateur. I am not, I, I've just been learning as I go through my passion of lights. I am not someone who builds lights or anything like that. I'm a total amateur and I, I can still do this. So it's really easy. So now again, this retainer ring is not loose. It hasn't been, been, uh, uh, playing up, but I'm just going to show you what you would do if it is. So you just get one side each on one side onto the uh, the face here, not to get it onto the emitter or anything like that, and the other side just on the retainer ring, and you just give it a bit of a squeeze all the way around. Okay, just a bit of a squeeze like that, and you'll know if the retainer ring is loose because it'll be like sitting up a little bit. So you just go all the right way around and just give it a little bit of a squeeze, and I'm I'm applying some decent pressure but I'm not, I'm not over squeezing it because I don't want it to then slip out and shoot off. Like I said, that has happened to me before. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the way around. Oop, and then what that'll do is, is press it in, right? So now what you want to do is you want to put it back into the head and you want to screw it up tightly because that can be your second issue that the pill is not screwed up tightly, right? So I'm going to try and put the, uh, the reflector back on over the emitter, there it goes, and I'm just going to push it down and give it a turn to try and leave it there so that I can put it back in, okay? Because if it's if the reflector's loose, you wanna put the light on that way to make sure that the reflector doesn't fall off and then you crush the emitter. Uh, so maybe I will just do that anyway. So there it is there, you just start screwing until it kind of catches the threads and it seems to have caught, fantastic. So now I just wanna get these um, plier things back into those holes, there they are. 
and then I'm just going to screw it up, right? Now, you do want to make sure that it is tight and not loose and rattling around in there. So when you get to the end and it kind of catches, which it seems to be doing, you just check the, uh, the top there. Yeah, everything seems to be flush and good. Okay, so now you just turn and you don't force, okay? I'm not telling you to force, but you just turn, turn, turn. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. I'm happy with that. So I'll put the uh, light back in. God, wouldn't it be funny if it just stopped working on me? So, and then click, we're good to go, okay? So the two things that you can troubleshoot with uh, a ray light, LAN apple or pineapple or whatever, is you can, you can first, if, you, if you're not comfortable pulling the pill out, firstly, just get something like this, stick it in there and turn and just make sure it's tightened. Because if it's, if it's loose, it will be flickering and playing up. If you've tightened it and that hasn't worked, what you then need to do is what I just did. Reverse it out, back it out, get something like this and just apply some light pressure all the way around on the uh, on the pill and then uh, on the retainer ring, making sure the retainer ring is stuck onto the pill. And then that is going to give you a much better chance of uh, of having your, your light fixed. Now, if that doesn't work as well, Contact Ray in the in the Ray Light group. I'm going to publish this in the Ray Light group in a few minutes, but contact Ray in the Ray Light group because he's very, very helpful and obviously much more knowledgeable than I am. But I just wanted to show you kind of the two troubleshooting uh, methods that I use when I've had uh, when I've dropped my light or something and then it starts to flicker and whatever, um, and I just do that. I tighten the retainer ring and make sure the pill is tightened in the head. That's it. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you.